100, you bastards. We run into the same people over and over sometimes because we grinders, and all we're going to do is keep running into the other grinders, and no that's just how this shit works. No you doubt. feel what I'm saying? Chico, wait, what's going on, man? How did the people go? Hey, listen, we just got off the stage, 12th annual ATL Hip Hop Day, DJ Scream set. Of course, we tore it down like, you know, I'm just blessed. I just I just told a little short story when I was up there. Uh -huh. I said at 5 o'clock this morning, I, uh, I got into a car accident with an 18-wheeler. Wow. At 5 in the morning today, an 18-wheeler smashed me. I almost got sucked in all the way under the 18-wheeler. Damn. Luckily, I pulled up out of there. Get what? I came straight here after that happened. Wow. I, I ain't get no sleep. I came straight here, and I put the posters up, promoted. So from 9 to about 12, 30, almost 1 o'clock, I was here. Wow, that's crazy. So I, I know you went and hollered that 411 pain, though. I, I, not, Behind that shit I holler at all kind of people Listen God damn Listen I live, a, re I live a real life But yeah. I just Like my work ethic is so crazy It's like This is what means the most to me Right right And like Some people might say You crazy Whatever But this is This is what This is me You feel me Yeah yeah So like I got into that wreck And only thing I could think about Is damn I got the rest of the weekend To get through Right and that's the only thing on my mind. Hey, it ain't hey, even the car. It's like, it's man, you gotta, like, yo, you gotta get through to the week. I got shit to do. You know hey, what I'm saying? Look, I, pulled, <laughs> I pulled up to my, listen. Instead of doing anything, I pulled up to my cameraman house uh -huh. and just and just sat right there until he woke up. He woke up, got in the car. Uh -huh. We came straight here and started working. Man, that's crazy, man. That, and that's just a testament to your grind. And I mean, I personally already know it because ain't no fucking way I keep running into. I run into some of y'all some of the time, but I run into Chico all the goddamn time. And I'm like, hey, every bro, I done seen you about. I seen you more than my damn kids that this past month, damn near, they grown out of the house. But that's not the point. You know what I'm saying? Or <laughs> that me? could be the point. <laughs> right. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like, bro, like, you definitely out here really working, man. So, of course, you just hit the stage. We got to talk about this music. We got to get into the real shit. Like, you just hit the stage. You tore it down. Talk about the songs that you're performing and the singles that you got popping right now in case nobody never heard of you. Uh, motion. The first one was motion. Right. I love to do motion first because it's, like, real up. Right. And it sets the tone. And I like to put people on a roller coaster. Yeah. I don't want to start low and go high. I don't want to reach my peak in the middle. Okay. I want to peak in the beginning, drop down, and put a vibe in, and then go back up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like a whole roller coaster ride. So we did the motion first. Okay. Then we jumped back and did a couple racks. Okay. Florida vibe, beach right. vibe. Right. Button shirts, open down, no buttons. Right. Feel me? And then we jumped back and did the one record. And all of these records, they, they're symbolic because it's all real. It's like me. It really happened. Right. I'm really going through everything I'm saying right here. Like, it's all legit music. Right. So, I mean, and, and I mean, you know, artists, man, there's been some scrutiny put on us as hip hop or whatever about how much how much we should put back into our music. Because some people are like, maybe we should dial it back a little bit because things are being used against us. And then people are also using that stuff to plot on us. You got the wolves out here listening, trying to figure out what our moves is. Right, right, what do right. you think about that, man? Like how how, caution, how cautionary should you be now as an artist about what you actually put out there and put into the space and say? Well, I'm going to tell you something about, I can't speak for everybody. Right. I can speak for me, right? Right. And for me, Everything you hear me talking about, I already did it. Okay. I am no longer involved in none of that. All right. So, and another thing, I'm going to get to another point, too. So, they can't come for me for nothing because right now, I'm s flying a straight road. Right, right. And then, two, it's so crazy because the stuff that you hear me rap about, if you listen to my lyrics, I ain't, I ain't saying we're going to run down or shoot him point blank in his yes. face. Like, it ain't nothing wrong with that style or, you know what I'm saying, drill me, no, no. But what I'm saying is, like, my music got a message. Right. So, like, if you go to the one record, it's me talking to my homeboy, and he telling me how real he is. Yeah, yeah. And that's a big thing. Everybody's so real. Right. But what what make you real? Right. And that's the message right there. For me is, when you sit at that table, and you break bread with the people who you love and the people that love you, that's real. Right. Everything else is secondary. Yeah, right, right. So, so everything I'm saying is, is is leading into a message, and you could take it negative, which is not going for negative, but you have to listen to it and understand what's going on, so you can get the positive out of that message. You right, get what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely do. I definitely do, man. And you know, at the end of the day, we are entertainers, but we also men. You feel what I'm saying? At the yeah. end of the day, man. You know what I mean? And, and look, life's a stage. Yeah. So, I I don't have to be out there living my old life to talk about it. And also, I don't say, what's that word, what they say? 
uh, when they, uh, what they be saying, not intentionally, not deliberately, but they say, uh, what's this famous word that they be saying? Like, you did something, but they put a word before it because they don't want you to know that it was really you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I turn, I turn what's to get this word, bro? I'm trying to think of it. Um, but anyway, I don't I don't put that in front of my, my words because I really did the stuff that I'm saying. Right. But I no longer do it no more. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to say allegedly. There allegedly. it goes. I don't have to say allegedly. Right. Because it really did happen. I already paid my debt to society. I already went to prison. I already did my time. I came home and now I'm flying a different road. I stopped selling dope. I started selling hope. It's no, it's no pump faking. It ain't no booty shaking. It's for real, like. Right. It's no sugar coating. It's, it's, it's a real life I live. I live three lives, bro. This is my best life right now. My, this is my best life. Right. My best After one. After all of that, and then, but you know what's crazy? I bet at the time you thought that was your best life. At the time, it was my best life. Yeah. But I realized. And getting jammed and thrown in the cage and all of that, like, I don't want to live this life no right. more. Because that comes with that. Because you know I mean? it's too much missing out on something. Yeah. Losing out on time is crazy. Right, because you don't get that bad. Losing out <laughs> on people right. because of time is crazy. Yeah. And then understanding that it's your fault that these people ain't around no more anyway. Yeah. So instead of me beating a dead horse, like, you didn't come around. You weren't there for me. You weren't here. You weren't here. It's me understanding and overstanding really, like... Bro, the reason why they not here is because you took yourself out the mix. Right. And I get it. Yeah. I'm not blaming nobody for anything I ever did. I don't regret anything. Like, I needed that. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And now I'm able to be out and have some sense and make real better decisions. Right. Instead of thinking with my blind eye that don't work right. You get right. what I'm you saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I'm not looking over my shoulder right now. I'm looking straight. I don't look down. My head is up high. I wake up happy every day. Bro, I just got hit and almost swallowed by 18-wheeler, and I didn't even go to my own house. I went and slept, not even sleep. I went and sat up in my cameraman driveway and waited for him to knock on my door and say he ready. Right. And we came straight here and went to work. That's crazy, man. That's that's just a testament of the grind, man. You feel me? I know one thing, one thing about it, whatever pop off, dog, and I'm pretty sure it's going to happen for you, I'll be the first one to raise my hand and say, motherfucker, he got that shit out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen you working, working, consistently working. So whatever comes, bro, you deserve it. I just hey, want to let you know that I, I, I feel that way. I appreciate you. Yeah. I love that. And I love you for saying that. And I just love you as a brother. Like, you got to understand. We need to feel We need to feel our our folks head up with love instead of all that other mumbo jumbo because it's so easy to fall into that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And peop some people don't know how to love. Some people... They don't know what love is. It, I'm over here, bro. <laughs> hey, call bro with the red hat. So, um, you get what I'm saying? So, it's like, just because I'm not at a Little Wayne level or whatever, that don't mean I don't have an impact on people. Exactly. People have called exactly. me and told me they quit their day job. They quit selling rocks. Right. They stopped doing this because I inspired them to do something else. So, success for me is happiness. Yeah. And I wake up happy every day. Absolutely, man. Chico Fuey, man, give them that social media so they can find you, man, so they can listen to that music and listen to some more of this good vibe. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Hey, look, we in the building from the floor to the ceiling. Tap in right now. C-H-E-E-K-O-F-U-E. K100. If you ain't messing with K100, we ain't messing with you. We in the building. You know what it is, man. Hey, Chico Fuey, man, a real grinder. Feel me? And he got some dope-ass music, by the way, but we already hey, up on that. Hey, New Music Mondays, October 3rd. I got a big surprise. You better be there. All right, I'm trying to pull up. K100 Radio. Hey, Yo. Atlanta Hip Hop Day. You know what it is, man. Hit subscribe on that YouTube channel. K100 Radio.